something very personal. I'm going to talk about how much of a failure I am and how am I trying to deal with it. Have you ever thought of yourself as a failure? That's a really great start. I think I'm a failure all the time or I did until very recently. And there is a trick that I learned on how I think about myself that really helps me to grow away from the feeling that I do everything wrong and everything is constantly not as good as I want it to be and therefore I'm a bad person to a space where I think that, well, this didn't really work, but it doesn't mean that I'm a failure. Only now I have a courage to be like, okay, well, even if it doesn't work, even if it fails, I don't care because I don't become worse because of that. I have this very annoying fear of uh, jumping into the water, not even from heights, just from like plain pool level, um, diving head first. I seriously can't do this. Here in this example, you can clearly see some hesitation in the beginning and it's definitely not my first jump. I've jumped so many times before then, but every single time it's super hard for me to jump. This fear manifests in something so much bigger for me and that's something I recently realized. It's the fear of doing things when I'm not 100% sure I'll be good at them. It's horrible for my uh, work and career because even though everything I produce is on a good level, I don't innovate enough, I don't become creative enough, I don't challenge myself enough and it doesn't help me grow fast enough or as fast as I would like to. Maybe most of you won't be able to relate to that, but the, for some of the overthinkers <laughs> watching this, I'm going to try to give you a, a little trick on how I learned how to stop being such a crazy overthinker and being okay with things not being 100% um, perfect. Recently, I got so tired of this. This is just very stressful. So the way I used to think about myself, so there is like me as a person, I have a certain character, I have certain likes, dislikes, certain level of intelligence, um, interests, uh, my morals, my values, like integrity, honesty, so on and so forth. But around me, there are all the things that I do. So I was looking at myself as this heat map of the various projects, let's call them, uh, that I had that I was good at or bad at. And uh, I was evaluating my whole self based on all those set of things that I've ever done. And of course, it's so much easier to remember negative things. It's so much easier to remember your failures, to overthink them. So I've been doing exactly that. Obviously, I was just remembering how I failed at this, how I failed at that, how this didn't really go well, how this project was not as good as I thought it could be, how this feedback was not perfect from someone. And uh, altogether, it was really ruining my mood. It was really ruining my... Uh, perception of myself. It was hard to do things that I didn't know that would make this whole thing greener compared to like the red part here. So recently I realized that I look at myself like this and I thought it's just ridiculous. Don't take me wrong, one's actions are definitely a good indicator of how they are as a person, but those actions don't just come standalone. Those actions come from their own values, their interests and their morals and this is what defines a person. But what I decided to do in the future for myself, for my own sake, is to just look at myself as this person with certain values and morals, certain skills and interests, and only evaluate myself based on those values and morals and how true am I to them. In a nutshell, if I did something that didn't work out very well, but I stayed true to myself, I stayed honest, I tried to do my best, maybe there were some criteria or some situation where I couldn't do my best, still do something that's interesting for me, that can be good for me, that can be good for someone else, that is kind to people, then even if I fail, it doesn't matter because I stayed true to myself. I will not start lingering on something that I couldn't have changed because I already did everything I could, even though it might have not worked out. Of course, if you're if you're a lucky person that knows who they are and knows what your what your values and morals are, then I'm super happy for you and a little bit jealous. But I don't think it's just like a static set of uh, values and morals that you can have. It's definitely evolving over time when you meet more people and you have various experiences. So now I think I'm at the point in my life where I had a lot of experience previously where I can define that those are the things that matter for me. So this is how I came up with like a, a list or a set of the values that are important for me. For my own self, of course, it's the most like comprehensive uh, set of values and uh, morales that I have. And everything I do, if it just aligns with those, whether it was successful or not, whether I failed, 
or not I'm not gonna start thinking about myself better or worse because of that I will just try to derive as many learning as I can from the situation and see if next time when I'm uh, doing the same project or similar project I'm can apply those learnings to this project. I think it was a kind of a revelation for me looking at myself like this and it really helped me to be more courageous and do things that I don't know that I will succeed in. For example, like filming these videos or doing some certain sports that are hard or taking on a project at work that I don't know if it will work out very well, but at least I know that I'm gonna learn a lot. And if you can relate in any way to whatever I've been talking about just now, then I really hope that this will help you. I hope I really hope that you can be kinder to yourself and think about yourself as this wholesome, nice person rather than all these things that happened to you and you've done and just help you not to overthink things too much. When next time you're standing on this hypothetical cliff and deciding if you should or shouldn't jump into the water, I hope that this feeling that there is just you um, and whatever happens when you jump, of course, obviously, if you've seen the people that jump before and everything is fine and you know it's deep, like, disclaimer, obviously you should know that. I'm just using it as a metaphor. Maybe it will be a relationship, maybe it will be uh, work-related stuff, but even if it doesn't work out, it's just an experience that you had and if you were staying true to yourself, then it doesn't really matter how it turned out, you can learn from it and move on and you will still be this nice wholesome person with your morals and values. I hope this was a little bit fun and a, a little bit motivating. Please let me know if you are interested in this video in the comments. Please let me know your reflections on how you felt about what I've been talking and uh, I wish you a really nice day. It's very sunny here in Stockholm today so I'm gonna go tan. Uh, because it's Sunday and I really want to just be outside and uh, on the fresh air and I wish you also a nice day. Bye!